Hello, my name is Brennan Paul, and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect at AWS. Today we'll be talking about a feature of Shield Advanced, Mitigation Metrics. In this video, we will introduce Shield Advanced, talk through an overview of Shield Advanced Mitigation Metrics, and then show a demo of the feature in the AWS console. AWS Shield is a managed DDoS protection service that safeguards applications running on AWS. There are two tiers of AWS Shield, Standard and Advanced. Shield Standard is included by default when you use AWS services such as Amazon CloudFront and Route 53. Shield Standard provides protection for all AWS customers against common and the most frequently occurring infrastructure layer attacks, such as SIN or UDP floods. While Shield Standard protects your infrastructure on AWS, AWS Shield Advanced is a managed service that helps you protect your applications from external threats. These include DDoS attacks, volumetric bots, and vulnerability exploitation attempts. Unlike Shield Standard, Shield Advanced is an optional paid service with a 12-month commitment. Let's take a look at the benefits of the service in more detail on the next slide. Shield Advanced provides enhanced protections for your applications running on protected resources, such as Amazon CloudFront distributions, Amazon Route 53 hosted zones, AWS Global Accelerator, Amazon EC2 Elastic IP addresses, and Elastic Load Balancing Load Balancers. For these resources, Shield Advanced provides always-on flow-based monitoring of network traffic and active application monitoring to provide near real-time notifications of suspected DDoS incidents. The service works together with AWS WAF to detect and mitigate DDoS attacks at the application layer. For protection at scale, you can also use AWS Firewall Manager to create AWS Shield Advanced policies that automatically protect resources upon creation and remediate resources that are not yet protected. With Shield Advanced, you get enhanced Layer 3 and Layer 4 protections. You can also configure the service to respond automatically to mitigate application layer attacks against your protected resources. You also get exclusive access to advanced near real-time metrics and reports for extensive visibility into attacks on your AWS resources. You also have the option to enable health-based detection for improved responsiveness in attack detection. With proactive engagement, the Shield response team will directly contact you if your protected resource becomes unhealthy during an event that's detected by Shield Advanced. As a Shield Advanced customer, you can contact our 24-7 Shield response team for assistance during a DDoS attack. For example, they can help you triage a very distributed Layer 7 attack, identify the attack pattern, and then help write WAF rules to mitigate it. Lastly. Shield Advanced also offers some cost protection against spikes in your AWS bill that might result from a DDoS attack against your protected resources. The feature that we're focusing on today, Mitigation Metrics, is part of the Shield Advanced dashboard. The Shield Advanced dashboard displays mitigation metrics and network traffic timeline details for events detected on protected resources. This also includes details about the actions automatically taken to mitigate DDoS attacks. You can use this information to more easily evaluate your applications when an unexpected increase in traffic is detected by Shield Advanced. This helps you better understand the actions taken by Shield Advanced to protect your availability. Let's jump into the console and take a look at the Shield Advanced dashboards in more detail. When you subscribe to Shield Advanced and protect your resources, you gain access to additional visibility features for those resources. These include near real-time notification of events that are detected by Shield Advanced and additional information about detected events and mitigations. AWS Shield Advanced evaluates traffic to your protected resources along multiple dimensions. When an anomaly is detected, Shield Advanced creates a separate event for each resource that's affected. If you have Layer 7 Auto Mitigation enabled, Shield Advanced may automatically place mitigations against attacks depending on the traffic type for your resources. In the case of this demo, 
I have configured Layer 7 Auto Mitigation in Shield Advanced. If we take a look at my protected resources, we can see that I have a CloudFront distribution which has automatic application layer DDoS protection enabled. When automatic mitigation is enabled, Shield Advanced maintains a rule group in the Resources Associated Web ACL where it manages mitigation rules on behalf of the resource. Shield Advanced compares current traffic patterns against the historic traffic baselines to detect deviations that might indicate a DDoS attack. Shield Advance responds to detected DDoS attacks by creating, evaluating, and deploying additional WAF rules in the rule group. Let's go back over to our events page. In this case, we'll check out a simulated DDoS attack on one of our CloudFront distributions. At the top, we can see an event summary. We can see the attack vectors, in this case, a request flood, the start time, the end time, the resource that was protected, whether or not automatic application layer DDoS mitigation was in place, any network layer automatic mitigations that were in place, and the overall status of the event. If we scroll down, we can see the detection and mitigation metrics. In this case, we see the overall request per second, and then we can see the point at which the automatic application layer DDoS protection kicked in. We then see the blocked requests start to mimic the request pattern from the request flood. As I said before, this was a simulation. We set some strange URI paths in the request flood, and Shield Advanced was able to identify this and block those requests via the WAF rule group it manages. If we switch over to the Top Contributors tab, we can see some more interesting details about the traffic. For application layer attacks, the top five contributors are provided on dimensions such as source IP, source country, destination URLs, referrers, and user agents. You can see here that there's a pretty obvious culprit from our simulated attack. For network layer attacks, up to 100 top contributors are provided as metrics on several traffic dimensions. You would be able to see volume by protocol and source ASN, source port, source IP, TCP flags, and the destination port. Because the simulated attack was a request flood on a CloudFront distribution, we only see the application layer metrics here. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about Shield Advanced. In this video, we looked at a high-level overview of Shield Advanced and dove into the features of mitigation metrics. We looked at a sample DDoS event and saw the type of information Shield Advance provides us with. For mitigation metrics, we looked at things such as the request per second of a given attack, the attack vector, and the amount of requests that were blocked in an event. We looked at things such as the top five destination URLs, countries, and user agents in an attack. For more information about Shield and Shield Advanced, see the AWS Developer Guide in the AWS Security Blog.